This is despite sort of ongoing, you know, political and regulatory issues for the company. Well, here in China, I think uh, you have to remember they are not going through the same uh, challenges, bike dance. Uh, the, the version of their short video app Douyin here is extremely popular and it's shown itself to be extremely good at e-commerce. People come for the, the videos but they stay and spend money and that's become increasingly clear over the years. Uh, as we understand it, revenue has grown in the neighborhood of 30% from 2022. That's uh, about the same pace that it grew last year. Uh, we do not, because the company is not publicly traded, we do not have much insight into uh, how much uh, profit that, that translates into, but if you just look at the revenue numbers, it's become an increasingly large player, bigger than Tencent, uh, bigger than Alibaba, and slowly but surely becoming a, uh, the main vehicle for e-commerce here in China. TikTok, though, here re remains challenging in the U.S., right, on security concerns. So does that affect ByteDance's uh, strategy to grow overseas? TikTok is a huge part of the company. It is the face of the company on a global stage outside of China. So the ability of the company to keep TikTok operating in the United States uh, is extremely important. It would be even more important uh, on that day that we do get a, a public listing of the entity. Uh, it would tremendously affect the overall value that uh, ByteDance would get for that listing. And so in that sense, uh, and the influence that comes with having uh, that app in the United States, I think, makes it very, very important. Uh, they've also tried to sort of expand beyond social media apps. Uh, has there been much success? And do we know any kind of pathway to an IPO? So they have tried. Uh, most recently, they ended up closing down their gaming unit. Uh, that was a setback for the company. They're trying other things, AI, for instance. Uh, lots of Chinese companies are investing in that area. In terms of an IPO, uh, there's been talk that potentially uh, something in Hong Kong, uh, something in the United States even. But, but as of yet, there is not a solid indication uh, of, that a listing is coming. Indeed, they've, they've done private buy, buybacks of shares held by employees uh, most recently uh, at a valuation that was slightly lower than, uh, than what we had before.